Homage to the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha. Today's guided meditation is on arousing joy from our conviction in Buddha and the Noble Arahants. Let's begin by reflecting on the Buddha and how he was perfectly enlightened on his own. And out of compassion, he taught the Noble Dhamma. We reflect on how blessed we are that this Noble Dhamma is still available to us, that we still can access what the Buddha taught. We can connect with those that understand the meaning of the Dhamma so that we can practice. Without the Noble Dhamma, it would be very difficult to find the way out. And the way out of what? The way out of suffering. Without the Buddha's words, it'd be very difficult to find any kind of comfort when there is suffering. But each and every time we experience suffering, we come back to the Buddha's words, the first noble truth. And then we remember the noble arahants, the ones that have walked the path before us. All those who have all the things in conduct and knowledge, the charana dhammas, and so we understand that as vija charana sampano, accomplished in conduct and knowledge. They gave us more confidence that it is possible for us to walk the Noble Path, the Noble Eightfold Path. And we remember all Buddhas, all Noble Arahants achieve or realize awakening through the Four Noble Truths, through walking the Noble Eightfold Path, through developing the Noble Eightfold Path. And so we reflect on the great and living arahants in the pure abodes, the Suddhavasa. All these beings have heard the Dhamma from many Buddhas. Their lifetimes are very vast. And these noble arahants continue to lift and maintain the Buddha Dhamma so it doesn't die out. They make it available to those who have a little dust in their eyes. They lift the Buddha Sasana. They maintain the Buddha Sasana. And they have helped countless sentient beings. They help beings to liberate from samsara. They help them to enter the stream. They help them to access and develop on the Noble Eightfold Path even further.
And so we are very blessed to have this connection. We are very fortunate to have access to the true meaning of the Dhamma. We are very grateful for the compassion, the kindness, the generosity, the truth. We're very fortunate for the right view to have it corrected from the wrong view for the wisdom in all of us to grow to develop to sharpen our spiritual faculties and to increase our conviction in Buddha Dhamma Sangha And we understand that the noble wish, the noble wish of these noble ones is for the doors of Nibbana to remain open for all sentient beings, that these doorways to Nibbana don't get closed to any of us. And what are these doorways? the doorways of immeasurable loving-kindness, metta apamana, the second doorway of the immeasurable compassion, the karuna apamana, the third doorway of immeasurable joy, mudita apamana, and the fourth being the doorway of immeasurable equanimity, upeka apamana. These are the doorways that are leaning towards Nibbana, that open towards Nibbana, that go against greed, hatred and delusion. This is where the Noble Eightfold Path, when we develop it, when we understand the teachings of the Buddha, they open these doorways. All Buddhas, all noble Arahants, they know this. They know the significance of this because we're going against desire, going against hate, going against fear, and going against delusion. And so the noble Arahants, they wish for all sentient beings to be able to access these doorways, for those doorways to open, not close. When we have gratitude to the Buddha and the Noble Arahants, this is what we're grateful for. That if we have the same wish that they have, may the doorways of Nibbana remain open to all sentient beings. We connect with them. We have the same noble wish. And we connect because we let go of me and mine. We let go of this 
sense of atta. So when we make this noble wish for all sentient beings, for the doorways to Nibbana to remain open, we let go of atta, the sense of self, the sense of me and mine. We recognize at this moment that all beings are subject to birth, aging, sickness and death. That is our predicament. And therefore we tap into the first noble truth. And what is that noble truth? It's the understanding of the noble truth of suffering. That is our predicament. Nothing we do can fix birth, leading to old age, sickness and death. There is nothing lasting in the world. Nothing we construct with consciousness lasts. When we make this wish, we have that wisdom backing it up. We are with the noble Arahants, with this noble wish. And so it's a very powerful wish. It doesn't matter what doorway we are referring to when we make this wish. So with this understanding of our predicament, that there is nothing that lasts, that it is subject to change and therefore it's dukkha, it's suffering. There's nothing in the world worth taking as me and mine. We make this wish that all sentient beings May the doors to Nibbana remain open. May they not close. And so let's spread that wish to all sentient beings. Let's spread it upwards. Let's spread it downwards. Let's spread it to the east, the west, the north, the south, across, in all directions. We wish may the doors to Nibbana stay open for all sentient beings. Just as the noble Arahants do.
When we do this meditation, as you keep wishing, a sense of lightness comes into the meditation, a sense of buoyancy, vastness, You get a glimpse of what it's like not holding this me and mine. Not being with defilements, only having this wish. In this meditation, it may be that we have wisdom embedded in what we're wishing, and for some, maybe not. But even if you do this simple meditation, joy arises that all our brothers and sisters in this world, all that we can see, all that we can't, there is no distinction between any living being any sentient being because where our commonality is is that we suffer because we are born we are subject to old age sickness and death nothing we do can fix this and so when we wish we wish it for everyone who has this predicament It may deepen one's leaning towards something that lasts. What the Buddha tells us is Nibbana. There are no boundaries, there are no preferences, there are no blocks, there's simply this wish. May the doors of Nibbana stay open to all living beings. If you keep doing this meditation, everything starts to lighten. If you truly have Sadda activated in this meditation, you start to see light. Very, very bright light. It's the wisdom light of the Noble Arahants. We can end the meditation here.
Let's share the merit with all sentient beings. May all beings be free from suffering. May all beings be happy and well. Blessings of the Triple Gem, wishing you all well. Darwan Saranai.